What is going on guys? It's Chris back with Houseplant Therapy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to repot a snake plant. I'll repeat this. We will be repotting a snake plant. The snake plant is a very popular plant. It's somewhat considered a beginner friendly, super easy plant. It's from the succulent family. Um, chances are you will know when to repot your snake plant because the roots will be coming out of the bottom of the pot. This is known as root bound. Essentially, that's when all the plant's roots are kind of super crowded and they've outgrown the pot and they're growing outside of the pot. Another telltale sign that you need to repot the snake plant is that you have tons of babies growing on the outside of the pot. But yeah, let's get into how to repot a snake plant. So step number one is going to be to remove the pot from the plant itself. And as you can see, these roots are everywhere. I've seen way worse on snake plants, but this could easily use a repotting. You can kind of see the babies growing on the outside of the plant. And what we're going to do is we're going to rip out those babies and we're going to replant those. But we're not doing that in this particular video. Step number two to repotting your snake plant is to figure out what pot you're going to repot it in. We're using a terracotta pot. I painted that, by the way. And the difference between the terracotta and the nursery pots is it's a stone. And the stone actually works better for snake plants because what happens is snake plants don't like excess amounts of water and that stone helps absorb it. As far as sizing goes, the industry standard is to go about 1 to 1.5 inches larger in diameter. Or else what you can do is use the same diameter pot, but use a taller pot. Because you have to remember the roots are mainly at the bottom of the pot. So by giving the pot a taller size, it gives the roots more growth or more growth area to grow downward. So what we're doing now is kind of just getting all the pots ready for the baby plants and also putting the soil in the main pot for the mother plant. What you kind of do is you start by putting like an inch or two of soil at the bottom of the pot. That way it kind of gives an area to kind of set the plant itself in. So step number three is to kind of gently start massaging the babies out if you have babies on your mother plant and chances are you do. So just continuously try to massage the roots and try to break away some of the soil so that you can kind of rip out the babies. Um, what they do is send like a giant stem like structure that kind of feeds it, it feeds from the mother plant and kind of turns into the baby. Uh, call it kind of like a lifeline. And what you're going to have to do is kind of get a shears and just cut that. And that's when we're going to replant it. And again, if you don't have any babies and you're just doing a simple repot, this process is going to be a lot easier. You're literally just going to like maybe massage the soil a little bit. Like look at that right there. That's huge. That stem is huge. And that's what's feeding these little babies. But yeah, guys, if you don't have any babies, literally all you have to do is prop, plop it in there and it has the bigger pot size and it's that easy. But chances are you have some babies because this is very common for snake plants as they grow to propagate themselves. You will most likely have to get yourself a decent sized shears just because uh, cutting this stem is pretty thick. I would say it's probably like three quarters of an inch thick and a little scissors probably isn't going to cut it. So as you can tell, we're just kind of going to break that. And this doesn't hurt the mother plant at all, but this is kind of just uh, propagating essentially. And uh, this is kind of part of the repotting, like the whole process, because chances are your snake plant has babies coming out of it. What's crazy is I've actually seen posts of people keeping snake plants in terracotta pots and these babies, they become so powerful that they actually push on the outside of the pot and they break the terracotta pot. And uh, that's crazy because the terracotta is a strong stone. Look at that. That's the baby right there. And what we're going to do is just essentially sell these babies because we're not super into snake plants and we have a bunch of them already. So what we're going to do is kind of just throw them in a small pot of soil. And what you want is a fast draining soil. And uh, by the way, soil mix is probably like uh, really close to a succulent mix if you just want to buy that and keep it simple. Or also I have videos on DIY soil mixes. But yeah, we're just going to essentially sell all these baby snake plants and we're also repotting the mother plant. So the last step, guys, is to literally just drop the mother plant into the pot. And remember, we had the soil on the bottom. On average, you kind of want to plant it to where the plant kind of sits one inch to 1.5 inches below that brim. Just because it kind of helps when you go to water that the water doesn't overflow at the top of the pot. 
So guys, that's about it. Let me know in the comment section, um, did this help you learn how to repot a snake plant? Hopefully it did. Hit us up in the comments, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Oh, oh, oh I almost forgot, guys. There's one last step. When you're putting the soil back in the pot, give it a little tap. This kind of helps give the soil. It helps move it around and fill in all the gaps. So that's it, though, guys. I promise. Hit us up in the comments. Let me know, did this help you learn how to repot your snake plant, house plant? We love houseplants, guys. Please subscribe. I love you all. Mm.